What made you stop liking your crush? Wildly beautiful woman I was talking to said she has to really like a guy to not cheat on him. Infatuation only lasts so long. She was playing me along and eventually said how she wasn't really into me, but how she was really into this other guy who she found out like so back. Edit. Okay, this blew up quite a bit for me, but I should say that personally I was only kinda interested in her. She knew this and cut it off before I got too into her since she found another guy she liked and didn't want me to be too hurt by it all. I'm thankful that she cut it off early instead of stringing me along for too long. There are people in the comments of this thread that are way more deserving of this karma. I had a crush on her, and so did my buddy. I was going to ask her out, but my friend, who hadn't ever had a girlfriend to that point, asked me not to, so I stepped back. When he did ask her out, she laughed at him. Crush gone. Her boyfriend. All of my crushes have turned out to be lesbian. Every single one. A friend of mine convinced my crush to write a list of all the reasons he wouldn't date me. Apparently I needed to wear makeup, style my hair, wear cooler clothes, and not be weird. Asked him out. Found out he had a girlfriend. But then he said, don't worry about it, she's out of town this week anyway. And I was like oh, you. It was my freshman year of high school. I was 14 and he was 18. I know it was bad but I didn't know better back then. His girlfriend recently broke up with him and he started to catch feelings for me but still hasn't gotten completely over his ex. When his ex found out I was coming onto him, she made a fake email account posing as me and sent an email to herself saying I told her to kill herself. She showed the school counselors the fake email and things got messy. The three of us plus four school counselors and the vice principal gathered in a room together to sort it out. Most of the conversation didn't involve me and I was only there for part of it. When it was over I got to talk to my counselor alone and I was a sobbing mess. It was so overwhelming for me at 14. I had no idea what to do. It became obvious I didn't and do anything so they let me go. Him and the ex eventually got back together and as far as I know she didn't get in trouble. So yeah, didn't talk to that guy much afterwards. She got a boyfriend that she's been with for a long time and is a very good match for her. While on a semester abroad he had started a relationship with a girl, still kept me on hold for 6 months, found out through a third party when he came back, the realization that I had still been dreaming about him, talking to to his friends all exited about him, all while he was making new memories with someone else, totally crushed me. A long time ago, I was hanging out with her and her brother when her brother took out a lighter and started burning worms. I told him to stop and he gave me a dirty look and asked me why. My crush then asked me, wait, you're not an animal lover, are you? I never thought I'd have to defend myself trying to stop a guy from burning a creature to death. And the idea of animal lover being a grave insult to her was really eye-opening. It was hard to be attracted to her after that found out she had been dating my dad all along. I had a crush on this guy who stayed at my university dorm for one whole summer. He switched dorms afterwards and I did not see him again until graduation. Four years later, a mutual friend introduced us through Facebook wherein he asked for my number. We've been texting for a month, kinda flirting, when he asked to meet personally. It sounded like he wanted to have a date. Turns out he wanted to recruit me to one of those multi-level marketing schemes. Anytime she needed support or advice I would give it to her. Anytime she needed to talk I would listen. Anytime I would need support or to talk, she was on her phone, or didn't hear what I said and would say something completely unrelated to anything we were talking about. She had no advice to give. Her mysterious disappearance. Realized looks can only carry so far until your shit personality starts to show. He started dating someone else, who is wonderful by the way, and I realized I couldn't handle his intense all night crazy lifestyle. It was fun but not long term. We're still good friends though. Well I liked her and then she made a phone call prank and pretended she loved me. I felt humiliated, because she did that with a group of friends who were in our class as well. Luckily I didn't say sth embarrassing at the phone. She and her friends would make a big gas scene every single day, during class to make fun of this other girl who didn't like them acting up all the time. And it sucked because she was the cutest and funniest person I knew. He was rude to a fast food worker and made a huge scene. I ended up apologizing to them and trying to awkwardly tip them for their troubles. I thought he was really nice.
Turns out he was just nice to me, but rude to other people and pretty egotistical. As soon as the penny dropped, I couldn't even find him physically attractive anymore. We were on our way shopping for homecoming outfit stuff. I was being the good boyfriend and getting a matching tie. I was making smaller talk with her and her parents and sports came up. I played football at the time and they started asking me about the team and whatnot. Everything was going okay until her mom turned around looked me dead in the face and asked me how I could play football with all those NS. I was mortified that someone would even ask me this. I had never even thought how to respond to it so I said they are my teammates. They are my friends and they are real people. It didn't last long after that. Edit one for clarity. My ex-girlfriend shared the same opinions. Just wasn't as vocal about it. And she didn't condemn what her mother had said and that's when I lost all respect for her and decided I needed to get out of that relationship. Edit two. Thanks for the silver. The second restraining order seemed a bit excessive. She complained about everything every single day, and would constantly fish for compliments. It wasn't once a week or once a month, it was every damn day. And it wasn't just venting, it was every day I'm so ugly while posting 10 selfies. My art is horrible while uploading said artwork twice or three times a week. Repeat every day week month so on, and it killed the crush completely. I understand some people have moments of weakness and need reassuring in those moments of weakness. But not every damn day. Usually multiple times a day. We went on a date and there was this bowl of free candy and he took all the candy. I know it was free candy but still, I think it's rude that he took the whole bowl full. He did not add any periods at the end of his sentences when he would text. He also used he too much. So, his text messages looked something like. Oh he that's cool I'll take you dancing we can dance the night away he do you know how to salsa I will teach you are so cute I can't wait to take you out he. I asked her out in person. She said yes. And we exchanged numbers. When I tried work out a time and place where when we could go out, she ghosted me. I get ghosting when it's a random person from an app. But this is someone who I had had multiple in-person conversations with. I couldn't think of a justifiable reason for just ghosting. So I figured that regardless of the reason, she was is no longer worth my time. I started liking another dude mostly. Later found out he cheated on his girlfriend at the time and that killed any lingering attraction. I couldn't even look at him for a long time because it pissed me off. Now we are friendly with one another again but I'll never like him again. Married her. She's too gay for me. I asked her whether she is a dog or a cat person. Her reply immediately stopped the liking train. Cats cause they need less love than dogs. But you know I hate animals. Instant regression. Edit. Grammar. She started to date someone else. I have a policy of not going for people who are spoken for. He rejected me. After that though. You start nitpicking every little thing. I find him pretty annoying now. I have a class with him until December. Personal hygiene. Including her home. I married her and now she's stuck with me lol. Most of the crushes I had through school ended because after a while it was obvious I didn't have a chance anyway. 